Hello everybody, John Morrow, distinguished Toastmaster and the author of I Never Noticed. There are times in my life when I find myself in situations where I wish that people didn't notice me so much because we all have a tendency to sort of stumble and fall flat on our face in many an occasion. Life is really a series of grand victories, suspended games due to any one of a number of things like a rain out or a complete and utter defeat and failure. And it's kind of like the game of life and the game of baseball. My friend Mark Guy often talks about gamification and really if you get to thinking about life it's not that life should be considered in such a lackadaisical sense that you think of it as a game and yet if you think with a gaming thought of the idea of being the best that you can be conditioning yourself getting yourself mentally physically emotionally spiritually and always form shape and fashion in a position to be able to be successful you won't be finding yourself in situations where you're falling flat on your face so often but when you do you'll know how to get up off the floor dust yourself off take stock of what you've learned from the experience and then begin once again to try to achieve that objective. The reason why I'm standing here in this classroom is because this is a prime example of how people develop their bodies to get them into the condition where they can do certain things. And there are various anatomical charts in this room that deal with upper body, the arms, that deal with the back, that deal with the legs and even the abs and the stomach. I have a friend who's now teaching me how to box. No, I'm not interested in going someplace and punching somebody's lights out. Although I know what it feels like to have mine punched out. What I'm doing is I am learning that boxing is an excellent way to build physical conditioning starting with the core and working out. Now, why am I talking about that when my general focus is about how to make your life more effective through noticing what's happening in your immediate moment. It's because like anything else that you do, change requires that you practice new habits. One of the biggest problems that we confront is distraction. I have a problem. I feel I've improved, but that's because I've established specific mental and physical exercises to get myself in better focus of what I'm doing. When I am trying to get the work done, whether it's to follow up on a piece of writing, prepare a speech, whether it's to do one of these videos, to record a podcast, or whether it's to study and research a topic that will enhance my principal message on how to better notice things and live in each and every single moment more fully, it requires a change of habit. And that habit means that distractions must be eliminated. But the only way they can be eliminated is for you to change your environment. My good friend Maggie Sabatier-Smith of the Lakeland Toastmasters Club once said, if you ever want to get to the place that you want to go, you first must leave where you're currently at. Well, it's the same with habits. If you want to stop bad habits that distract you, that cause you to gain weight, that cause you to lose sleep, that cause you to not listen effectively, that cause you to make mistakes with your speaking and many many other things that can make you better but because of these habits these distractions you're not able to proceed as aggressively and successfully as you want to you must replace one of those distractions with a good habit and don't try to do them all at one time it's not possible the truth of the matter is, scientists will tell you that you have to do something new that you want to incorporate as a part of your lifestyle. You must do it consistently for 27 consecutive days. I don't understand the math in that, 
although I have a good friend who teaches at Kaiser University named Jonathan Nielsen, who will give you the mathematical algorithm for that fact. But in the end, basically speaking, it is just as accurate as the 80-20 rule is accurate. What I'm trying to say is that practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes a perfect result. Begin now. Think about changing. Start with the distractions that prevent you from completing your work and fulfilling your expectations and meeting your daily goals. Conditioning is everything. Exercise your brain as well as your body. Make a difference. You can. I'm John Morrow. Have a great day.